everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today let's discuss about fiscal positions and tax mapping in Odoo 40. So default taxes and accounts are set on products and customers to create new transactions on the fly. However, you might have to use different taxes and record the transactions on different accounts according to your customers and providers, localizations and business types. So, uh, in this video, we'll be discussing about configuring, that is creating and configuring physical position and setting these physical positions on customers, invoices or sale orders. So, this physical, physical positions allow you to create set of rules to automatically adapt the taxes and accounts used for a transaction. So, this uh, they can be applied in various ways, like we can automatically apply based on some rules or manually apply on transactions like uh, sale orders, uh, quotations of bills. And uh, we can also assign this physical position on partner or its contact form. So first, let's configure physical position from our invoicing module. Okay, here we can find physical position under accounting section. So let's create a new physical uh, physical position. Um, yeah, I can set that is detected automatically. Uh, here we can specify whether a VAT is required. So apply only if partner has a VAT number. That is here we can set some rules. So this physical position will be applied automatically. Uh, then we can set country group, country or fiscal, fiscal position. So here we can uh, find option for adding a tax mapping on fiscal position. So here we can select a tax and we can map uh, this tax to another tax. Okay, so here we have tax uh, 20% and after that we can save the fiscal position. So this way multiple tax mapping lines can be added uh, set for a fiscal position and after creating fiscal position uh, we can set it for customer mm, so here we have our customers mm, so let's open a customer okay azure india and here We can find option to set fiscal information under sales and purchase tab. So here we can set a fiscal position uh, for customer. So I have set this fiscal position for Azure India. Area. After that, let me come back to uh, come to a sales module and set a tax for customer tax for a product. So here I have set customer tax as tax 15 percentage. Okay, after that save the product and then let's create a sale order. So here I'm choosing my customer Azure India. So when you choose a customer here under other information, you can see automatically fiscal position is set as India. So this fiscal position was set for the customer Azure India. Okay. Now let's add uh, the product cabinet with DOS for which we have set a default tax as tax 15 percentage. So when you select the product, you can see automatically the tax is mapped to tax 20 percentage. So this is how tax mapping is done. And here it is possible to change the fiscal position for your sale order if you create multiple physical position. Okay, so after confirming sale order, you can find option to deliver the product and create invoice. So I am validating this delivery and after validating delivery, let me create an invoice for the sale order. So here we can find option to create invoice. So I am creating a regular invoice. So when I view the invoice, uh, that is you can see option to view the invoice. Here when you edit and come under other information, 
we can see under accounting section we can set fiscal position for this invoice so from here also we can change the physical position or set a new and set a new physical position for your invoice and according to that uh, invoice line will change tax will be mapped so this is how physical position can be configured and tax mapping can be done in order 40 community and there is also an option for account mapping so this option can be found uh, for in your enterprise So we have also done a video on fiscal position, configuring fiscal position and tax mapping in order 14 enterprise. So please check that video also. So if you have any doubt regarding this video, please add your valuable comments.